recognize National Drug Court Month and show my support for the positive impact drug courts have on cutting crime, saving money, and restoring lives. I have seen firsthand the impact of drug courts in Arkansas. This proven approach has helped many Arkansans suffering from drug and alcohol abuse who have received the treatment and services they need to turn their lives around. For more than two decades, these courts have offered Arkansas's drug-addicted, nonviolent offenders an alternative to jail while rehabilitating them through a, through a strenuous treatment program. We have nearly 90 specialty courts in Arkansas that are providing life-saving treatment to more than 3,000 individuals with substance use disorders, and the results are impressive. Our state saves $45 million each year by diverting these offenders from prison to drug courts. 90% of Arkansas drug courts participants' drug tests come back negative for illegal substances, compared to 64% of those on probation and parole. Drug courts are a critical component of today's criminal justice system. They have proven to be an effective alternative to jail for individuals convicted of nonviolent drug charges. Holding offenders with substance use and mental health disorders accountable through strict supervision and treatment, drug courts and veterans treatment courts have saved billions of tax dollars and the lives of more than 1.5 million people, including a remarkable man I recently met who shared his story. Blaine was facing 20 years in prison because of crimes that he had committed to support a 10-year addiction to, prescribing, uh, to prescription opioids. This epidemic currently takes 94 American lives every single day, but Blaine is one of the lucky ones his community had a drug court. The drug court program gave him the tools that he needed to stop using drugs and helped him reconnect with his family, find employment, and get his life back on track. Instead of sitting in the jail cell on the taxpayer's dime, he is working as a teacher. Instead of breaking into homes, he owns one. Today, Blaine is a dedicated family man. He told me, and I quote, Drug court was a chance to become the father and husband that I wanted to be, end quote. His story is similar to hundreds of Arkansans who have drug courts to thank for turning their lives around. An Arkansas drug court gave a woman named Sammy a second chance. She became addicted to painkillers at the age of 22 when she suffered a back injury. Her addiction led her down a very dangerous path where she all started, also started using meth every day. It also led her into the criminal justice system, and she was facing 20 years in prison. Drug court helped Sammy change her lifestyle. Now she is a positive role model for her children, holding down a full-time job and giving back to her community. This is the power of drug courts and other treatment courts that change lives heal families, and save money. The success of drug treatment courts has become a model tailored to the needs of different groups, from veterans to juveniles. The willingness of the, uh, the, willi the, willingness of the judicial system to adopt alternative methods to jail time is a cost-effective approach to changing the habits of drug addicts and saving thousands of people like Blaine and Sammy. As Washington pursues options for criminal justice reform, drug courts are a great example of a program that works. More than 25 years of research has proven that they reduce crime and substance abuse, break the vicious cycle of recidivism, and keep families together. In Arkansas and every other state in the country, Drug courts are making a real difference. I want to recognize and thank the more than 30,000 drug court judges, prosecutors, defense attorneys, treatment providers, probation officers, 
court administrators, and other professionals who are on the front lines of providing a path to recovery. As we recognize National Drug Court Month, this is a great opportunity to show our commitment for the Drug Court Discretionary Grant Program and the Veterans Treatment Court Initiative at the Department of Justice. While there are 150,000 Americans being served by drug courts and veteran treatment courts today, there are more than one million individuals in our justice system who do not yet have access to these life-saving programs. I ask you to join me in supporting resources for these programs to improve public safety, save taxpayer dollars, and most importantly, to save lives. And with that, Mr.